The following is an instant classic. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Five Wars Deep. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Solomon Daniel story. Good news, the Niners back in the one seat after blinking the Giants last week, 11-2 with control of our own destiny in the NFC. We cannot lose any more games. There's only three games left, but we cannot lose any more games, all right? The Eagles are right on our heels. The Lions are right there. And let's not forget Seattle. We still have to play Seattle one more time, and there's a chance that if we lose that game and they sweep us, we're in the wild card. We're the best defense in the world. What are we doing in the wild card? We got to win out, all right? But today, as you can see by the title, today is the biggest test of the season. We've got the seven and six New England Patriots today, led by Tom Brady, the GOAT. The GOAT Tom Brady. They're seven and six on a three-game losing streak, all right? They were seven and three, lost their last three games, and their last four games were on the road. Let, let me show you. Look at this. At the Jets, at the Rams, at the Bills, at the Dolphins, lost their last three games in a four-game road trip. And now they're back at home, and they need a win so they can secure their division at seven and six, and you saw the Jets are also seven and six. That's a good team. That's a team that took us to the brink. They're back at home for the first time in a month. They've got a really good 49ers team. They're coming off a three game losing streak. They're motivated. They've got all the motivation in the world. All the motivation in the world. Ours is, we want the number one seed. Theirs is, we need to make the playoffs. Because if they don't win their division, they're not making the playoffs. And you know how Tom Brady is about making the playoffs, man. And you know how Tom Brady is about losing. Lost three games in a row, now he's back at home? Come on, y'all. This ain't going to be easy. Let's get it, man. We got to contain Tom Brady today. Got to do it. Got to do it. It's going to be hard, but we got to do it. Here we are in Foxborough, Massachusetts. It's December in New England, so it's cold. All right, the sun is out, there's some clouds, that's all good, but it's cold. Let's not act like it's not cold in December in the Northeast, all right? All right, Patriots win the toss and elect to kick. Hopefully this one doesn't go out of bounds. It does not. Here we go, underway in Foxborough. Solomon Daniels getting outside. Solomon Daniels across the 35. Good return. All right, let's go. All right, Vinny Johnson threw an interception. So here we go. Tom Brady is on the field, and Solomon Daniels has to face him. Here we are. Tom Brady, the GOAT. He'll give to Maroney. Lawrence Maroney with a first down run, and Solomon brings him down. Fully expected a pass. Expected a pass, but all right, they got us with the run. They got us with the run. Now Brady will pass. Brady is sacked. We got there. You got to get pressure on Tom Brady if you're going to beat him. Everything you got. Throws and almost intercepted. Solomon was right there. Solomon almost picked off Brady. Third and 15. Third and 15. Told y'all, this is a big test for everybody. This is a test for everybody on this defense. If we can stop him right here, that's huge for us. Build up our confidence. They're going to throw a screen to Wes Welker, and it goes nowhere. Start of the second quarter. Patriots have the ball back after a field goal drive from Vinny in the offense. Here we go. Brady quick snaps it. Brady going up top, and it's caught Dante Stallworth for a first down. Here we go. He's going to start dotting us up. He's going to start dotting us up. That pass is caught. Ben Watson and Solomon gets the tackle. Welker gets the catch, and it's a first down, Patriots. Brady throws out of the backfield. It's a fumble, and luckily it falls out of bounds. Second and long. 
boy, if Solomon got his hands on that, it is a scoop and score. That was a scoop and score. Maroney got lucky. He pushed it out of bounds. I tell you what. Boy, I tell you what. Here's Brady on second and long. Brady throws. It is incomplete. Good coverage. Third and long coming up. Brady throwing. It's caught Dante Stallworth, but he is shy of the first down. 50-yard field goal attempt. I don't know who the kicker is. It's not Vinatieri. Vinatieri was a Colt by this point of his career. So this kick by whoever this is, is good. And Solomon will take this one from just inside the 10. Here comes 37. 37's got some blocks. 37 making his way around and gets tackled across the 30. Another field goal for the Niners makes it 6-3. 1.53 to go. This will be a two-minute drill from the Patriots, so we got to stop Tom Brady because this is where he's at his best. This is where the GOAT is at his best. Brady looking, throws. It is incomplete. Third and 10 for New England. 1.41 to go. A three and out here is just wow. A three and out would be wow. Come on now. Brady throws. It is caught. Dante Stallworth. I knew, I knew they weren't going to go three and out. There's no way. No way they were going to go three and out. And now they're going no huddle. All right. We've got Brady in the hurry up. Solomon doesn't have time to change the play. Brady works too fast. Brady works way too fast. And this one is intercepted. Solomon did it. Solomon intercepted Tom Brady. Solomon has intercepted the GOAT. Solomon Daniels just intercepted the greatest of all time. What a read. What a read. First of all, you've got Wes Welker, and I believe, I don't know if that's Watson or another reason. I think that's just a receiver. That's Solomon's zone, but it's the awareness to see somebody crossing from the other side of the field. Okay, this is a deep crossing route right here. Solomon reads it, reads the ball, attacks it, attacks it, and his hands win the battle. His hands win the battle. Right place, right time. Once again, the offense got in the red zone, decided to kick a field goal, so it's 9-3 to three with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So Brady's still got time, and a touchdown gives them the lead. Brady throws. This is batted down, incomplete. Brady got sacked. Brady got sacked. Yes, sir. All right, to the half, to the half, to the half. Let's go to the half, let's go to the half. A field goal drive after the Solomon interception. It is nine to three at halftime. New England. Start of the second half. Got to defend this 9-3 lead until we make it a two possession game. Got to defend this. But you know Brady's going to get aggressive. Brady throws, caught Thomas, and he found himself back at the line of scrimmage. On the reception. Oh, that's a screen. That's a screen. Get there. Bro, you just ran out of bounds. Boy, you stupid. Boy, you stupid. Incomplete. Get off the field. Get off my field. Hey, watch the ball. The bird's on that. Caught! Look at the speed! Touchdown! Touchdown San Francisco. Take that, Rodney Harrison. Take that, Rodney Harrison. Touchdown, Niners. A 52-yard touchdown pass. And with this PAT, it is 16-3. to three. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Brady. Uh-uh. Caught Wes Welker, first down, New England. All right, they were, they were going to get the first down eventually. Another third down opportunity for this defense. Another third down opportunity. This is third and 12. Third and 12. Brady will throw. This one to Wes Welker is caught. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to challenge it. They don't know if he got his feet in bounds. It looked like he did. I'm not going to lie. It looked like he did. Only one foot. Only one foot. They're going to reverse it. He only got one foot. 
Yep, only one foot. There's an incomplete pass. The player was out of bounds. Thank you. Fourth quarter in Foxborough. Same score. Patriots ball at the 38-yard line. Got to hold this lead. It's a two-possession lead, and I'm, I'm a little bit more comfortable with that, but still would like a bigger lead. Dante Stallworth gets that catch and goes out of bounds. Tom Brady has two fourth-quarter comebacks. Yeah, he's got way more than that now, in case you didn't know. He's got way more than that now. So, there's that. That pass is caught. Jackson, first down. Let's not lose focus now. Let's not lose focus now. Too much ball to be played. Too much ball to be played. Uh-oh. And Lawrence Maroney has the catch and the touchdown. Wow. Wow. Tom Brady's about to do it again. Big return. Big return. Big return. He'll take it with his heels on the five. Here comes 37, and he just got that. Yay, Yurt. Oh, my gosh. Offense went three and out, so here we are, 3.56 to go with a six-point lead, and we're facing the GOAT. We are facing the GOAT. We have put him in the situation that he thrives in. Brady throws, and Solomon bats it away. Great coverage on Welker. Great coverage. Brady throws quickly, and this one incomplete. Brady throws middle of the field. It is caught by Wes Welker, first down. Brady throws. That's caught Jackson. Just shy of a first down, or did they give it to him? Yay, yeah, shy. Give to Maroney. Solomon chasing him. I don't know if Solomon's going to get him, but I'm glad somebody did. They are inside the red zone. Get him. That pass is incomplete. This is where our defense thrived against the Giants. Backs against the wall. This is where our defense thrived. Got to do it here. Got to have a stand right now. Come on. What crowd are you pumping up, Banta Kane? This pass is almost intercepted. Oh, that would have been a great time for one. That pass. Incomplete. So the Patriots will go for a field goal. Todd Peterson is the kicker's name, so I apologize for not knowing that earlier. So Peterson will try to make it a three-point game with just 2.37 to go, and it's good. We got a chance to run out this clock. They think they can stop our offense, man. They just disrespected our offense. They just disrespected our offense, and I don't like that. Bro, can y'all block, please? Oh, my goodness. Y'all better not give this ball back to Brady. Run the ball. Run the ball. If I see you drop back for a pass, bro, I'm going to go crazy. Run the ball. Oh, my goodness. Keep on milking it. If they're not going to call timeout, what are you doing? What are you doing? And they almost got the first. That's what's funny. Why didn't you just give it to Frank Gore in the first place? All the Patriots need to do is get in field goal range, and they can send this to overtime. A touchdown wins it. And y'all know Brady likes touchdowns. This is, our, this is our test. This is our test. This is our test. Come on, defense. No huddle for New England here. If we really the best defense in the world, we about to show it. We about to show it right here. Sink or swim. Good tackle, Solomon, good tackle. Brady, he's sacked, Brady is sacked. There we go, there we go. No huddle, second and 16 here for New England. We are down to 60 seconds, down to 60 seconds. Brady just got hit as he tried to throw. And it's incomplete, it's incomplete, incomplete. Fourth and 16. Fourth and 16. Brady has thrown 40 passes today. Here comes the 41st attempt. And it'll be the biggest one of the game and maybe the season for New England. Brady throws up top. It is. 
Caught by Stallworth inside the 30, and they're in field goal range. Bruh. No, man. Come on, man. And they still got two timeouts. And they still have two timeouts. We're playing the GOAT. We are playing the GOAT. Brady throws short, incomplete. A touchdown wins it. Why is Solomon out of the game? Solomon is out of the game on second and 10. Why would you take your captain out of the game? Oh my gosh! What kind of coaching is that? Why do you take your team captain out of the game? Oh my goodness. They give to Evans. Ayer! Ayer! It's over! It's over! Solomon Daniels just ended it! Solomon Daniels! Solomon Daniels with the biggest yayert of his life on Evans. Oh my goodness. It was Evans, a man who has dissed the Falcons on television so many times and made me so angry as a child, gets that yayert from Solomon Daniels. I can't believe it. It is a game winning Yayert. Final score 16 to 13. Vinny Johnson and the 49ers have gone into New England and beaten the Patriots thanks to the Yayert of Solomon's life. Wow. What a game. Coach better never take Solomon out of another game. Coach has no business taking Solomon out of a game. Unless he is injured, there is no reason to take Solomon out of a football game. And Coach better have learned that lesson today. There is no reason to ever take your captain out of a game. Especially on a potential game-winning drive for the other team. And the other team's quarterback is Tom Brady. Oh my goodness. Solomon comes back into the game, clearly angry, clearly he was angry, and gave Heath Evans the biggest hit of his career. Oh my goodness. Averaged only 19 yards per kick return, a total of 77 yards, as long as return was 27 yards. It wasn't a good day as a kick returner, but as a defender, goodness gracious. Four tackles. An interception off the GOAT, two pass deflections, and a forced fumble. That is what Solomon did today. The Pro Bowl votes just went through the roof. In fact, they went through the atmosphere. The Pro Bowl votes are out of this world. The Pro Bowl votes are out of this world after what Solomon did today. You just intercepted Tom Brady, bro. You just picked off Tom Brady. And you won the game by forcing a fumble inside the 10 yard line. Oh my goodness, I have just, what? Solomon now has nine interceptions on the season and two forced fumbles in as many games. Back-to-back -back games with a forced fumble. Back-to-back. -back. Six interceptions. No, no, no. Seven interceptions in the last seven games. Didn't have one last game, but he had two against Seattle. So over a stretch of, what is it? nine games now I think it's been nine games in a row where Solomon has either had a sack an interception or a forced fumble and today he got both an interception and a forced fumble price just went up price just went up this is the last year of your contract price just went up Somebody wants you on their team. And if the Niners ain't gonna come with that money, if the Niners don't drop that bag, forget about it. Go somewhere else. But my goodness, the Niners needed you today and you came through.
And now they are 12 and two. Niners are 12 and two. And get to run it back with Seattle at home next week. Oh boy. Solomon having the greatest season I've, I have just, what? Who would have thought this after his rookie year, man? Oh man, I'm amped. I am amped right now. What a game, Solomon, what a game. Woo, can't wait to play the Seahawks. Can't wait, can't wait to play them. I owe Sean Alexander a yayer as big as Evans, if not bigger. Somebody getting their head hit off next week, respectfully. Until then, it's your boy Five Wars D. One love.